If you're planning on buying any cards from TCG Player, make sure you use our affiliate link right here in the description of our video to help support the channel. It's the best way to do it and it's free. And if you're looking for code cards, make sure you check out Poton Store. They have automatic email delivery and all the latest Pokemon TCG codes and you can use table mode code for 5% off. If you're from Europe, MealyBotsGaming.com is a great option to get your cards from. They have all sorts of sealed products, merchandise, and all the sets available from Pokemon Sun and Moon upwards, including the latest Hidden Fate set. Don't forget to use Tailmon code when checking out to get a further 5% off from your final purchase. Hello everyone and welcome back to a brand new day of Road to Tier Worlds 2020. Cosmic Eclipse is finally, finally out and we are going to be using Arceus, Dialga and Palkia in this very interesting and very um, experimental deck, if you will. Yeah, so the focus of the deck is going to be to attack with Arceus, Dialga and Palkia as quickly as possible, especially on turn one, um, either using Alter Creation, GX, War for the rest of the game, the attacks of our Pokemon do 30 more damage, and if we have an extra Water Energy attached, we can, um, we can, we can, um, we can, every time we take a Pride card on the active Pokemon, then we get, or every time we knock out the active Pokemon, we get an extra Pride card, so pretty cool. Um, attack right there and or pretty cool effect and we have ultimate raid which does 150 damage and we may search our deck for up to three basic energy cards and then attach them to our Pokemon any way we like so on turn one we're gonna be digging with Jirachi the Denim for our end result where we discard the top six cards of our deck and if any of those are basic energy cards we attach them to one of our benched dragon Pokemon so hopefully we start Jirachi we can use and resolve power up this guy and then choose depending on the matchup between ultimate raid to power up keldo or alter creation gx if we can afford it in order to increase our damage output for the rest of the game and also get extra prizes so we have keldo gx with a pure card ability can't be dashed by other pokemon gx's or ex's so um that's really really good and sonic edge dealing 110 damage for three energies very decent damage output um, the attack damage is not affected by any effect on your opponent's active Pokemon and with um, the GX of Arceus, Dialga and Palkia you would be dealing 140 damage total or if you wanted to save your GX attack you can use Resolute Blade GX dealing 50 damage for each of your opponent's benched Pokemon so that's the general gist of the deck um, we do have 16 energies, more waters because Keldo does focus more on water, we have Reinforced and we have Chaotic Swell, where we use this to protect Keldor from Power Plant deactivating its ability. Whenever a player plays a Stadium card from their hand, you discard that Stadium card after discarding this one. So it's like no Stadiums um, for your opponent, or they have to double, they have to pay two Stadiums for your one Stadium. We have Triple Great Catcher to make sure that we pursue the right Pokemon at the right time. And because of the huge discards from Ends Resolve, we might just end up um, we might just end up losing one or even two along the way. So the Great Catchers will allow us to finish off different Pokemon and make sure that we can um, fully um, that we can fully um, commit to um, KOing something to close out the game. Now, Tax Switch is a card that not thought about it and like saw the deck spread out tax switch makes a lot of sense because if you go well i guess you are going to want to attack with arcus gel and palkia probably like if you go gx attack on turn one going second and then you go tax switch onto keldeo and start using that i don't know maybe everything will be going to youtube victory arc is indeed we are going to go second which means the potential for the dial and palkia we get a friendly hello, thank you so much. <laughs> and alright, so I do start Dale and Palkia, I can search for another one, and a Keldeo, and then play the Chaotic Cell, Chaotic Swell, and then a change. So we're looking for a switch and an end's resolve. 
You have a spirit on build, attack 2 Alola, 9 tails, in preparation for all the new dragons. Edward, that's fair, that's fair. Um, I mean, the Alola 9 tails with the safe card ability, that's pretty good overall against the general metagame, but once again, you lose so badly to Malamar that it just doesn't seem very worth it to play. That's like every every non-GX deck, every time you think about a good non-GX deck, then you're like, oh, but Malamar, right? <laughs> but Malamar is always the answer to every non-GX deck that's available out there. So we see the Welder. Thanks so much for subscribing, Chris, to the channel. On YouTube, it's different, right? When someone subscribes, they're just clicking on the button, but you can become members of the channel by clicking the join button down there and continuing to support the channel that way. All right. All right, so I'd say my opponent got a pretty good turn. That's a neat top deck, especially because it makes our switches even better, right here. Three switches, maybe this deck just needs outright four switches. Um, I don't mind just using my Altered Creation GX attack, I think. Well, I guess I do. So do I attach to the active, or do I just attach to the bench guy, or do I not attach? How many energies do I have prized? Two waters and one metal. So I guess I will attach, just in case I get a very poor end result. That's not the stadium. <laughs> that is certainly not the stadium. Okay, so we're looking for switch and ends resolve. We do get the switch. Therefore, we have a chance to pull off the ends resolve. I'm playing the church vault to make sure I can thin as much as possible. And no, no ends resolve. However, yes, great catcher. So do I go for a great catcher play into, what, is there a switch? Oh, there's a switch here. Maybe I just try again. Yeah, I'm just gonna try again. I'm just gonna try again. Come on, entry solve. Yes, there we go. Turn one GX, as long as we hit a water energy. I do not run energy switch or tax switch in this deck. All right, two waters, that works for me. I could attack right here. That might actually be better. Uh, I might have to ultimate right here because let's think about it. If I use my GX attack, I just lose this guy, right? Next turn to a presumed welder plus whatever else. Yeah, I have to ultimate right here. And then power up the Keldeo. I'm pretty sure that's what I need to do. Water, water. Because otherwise, if I GX and then he and then he goes GX, then what do I do? It's gonna take me three turns to power up Keldil, or at least two. If I find another end result, power this guy up, and then with this guy's attack, power this guy up. So in the end, the plus thirty damage is not beneficial enough. So attacking and charging the Keldil definitely makes a lot of sense. More sense, right? Definitely makes more sense. All right. So my opponent goes for greens. The chaotic swell is potentially really good here. Really powerful. Really, really, really powerful. Because if my opponent tries to play power plant, the power plant will actually not stick. It will actually not stick. And 
I've been taking a while here. Power plant and great potion. The great potion does not matter. As I am free to retreat. Yeah. I am free to retreat and KO with Keldeo. And the fact that my opponent played greens means what's my energy count? Uh, 6 metal, um, 10 water. Alright, then we get a Cynthia, pretty awesome. Definitely gonna retreat here. Now, I definitely wish I was powering up another Kelder right here, but that's not gonna be the case. Don't wanna play the Virgin Forest and give my opponent access to more fire energies. Um. Huh. So we just go Sonic Edge, right? Maybe switching into... No, I had already retreated, so never mind. The Viridian Forest, actually, if that had been Chaotic Cell, I would have had game pretty much guaranteed. But now, if my opponent goes Power Plant Welder, three energies, he can KO my Keldeo. Right? He can't actually KO my Keldeo. <laughs> Edward, thank you. I try. I try. Deck seems really gimmicky. I agree. I am not claiming this to be the absolute best deck in the format by any means. Right? Okay, so the Lusamine means sure, you get Power Plant back. Sure, but you're not doing, you're not weldering, so that's good news. That is very good news. Because I didn't GX, I'm not getting the KO here with Sonic Edge, but all good. You see the attachment. Okay, so once I attack here, my opponent goes Power Plant, Outrage, KO, which is fine because then I just go Attach and KO, right? Unless I find the other Chaotic Swell. So immediately I'm thinking three Chaotic Swell is probably going to be pretty good. Um, yeah, there it is, right? The other chaotic well is in there. I just, I don't want these cards again in case I get reset stamped. And chaotic well, yes. <laughs> that 100% protects my Keldeo, and that should, I mean, I was going to win anyways. GX now, no, because then I still went in two turns, right? Whether I attack, I guess I could have GX, right? But no, because then if my opponent, without this, meh. Yeah, I could have GX right now. I think I still win thanks to it, can kind of excel anyways. <laughs> you, yeah, it, like whenever the set comes out, like, Immediately, prices are always, always super, super high. Yeah, and then they stabilize. And then they stabilize. So goodbye, Chaotic Swell. We see a switch. We have the Great Catcher in our hand. So, well played to my opponent. Well played to my opponent. Sonic Edge. All right, all right, not bad. I mean, the deck did what I wanted it to do, and we basically got the best opponent to do it against. Maybe you don't play Brilliant Forest? Maybe that's unnecessary? I kinda like four, I'm gonna try four swells. I'm gonna try four Chaotic Swell. Like, I, have, I play plenty of energy. Not finding the right one is just gonna be unlucky. All right, and therefore you guys get a code in the chat. Every time we win, I will be giving out a code for as long as I have, right? I've already given out one, two, three, four, five. That's the sixth code, I have 20 total. So you guys better be rooting for me to win. All right, um, we do get to go first. It's literally impossible to get the code. <laughs> I don't know. I mean, someone already said they got it. And 
and not only are we going first, we also get a mulligan, which is really good news. And we're up against Reshizard yet again. Reshizard yet again. Alright. Is the code invalid? No, it's not invalid. It's just already been used up. Okay, so we have Dialga and Palkia. Play Crasher Wake? No, definitely not. Crasher Wake would be horrendous in this. Um. Okay, so I'm gonna... Okay, this is what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna poke it here. Okay, just for Cynthia. Ah, uh, sure. I'll get rid of a metal. I do have all four hands resolve. I have four cherish balls. I have the Keldium. So, do I just attach here? I mean, yeah. Let's just attach. Alright, so Stella Wish for Ends Resolve. Seems okay. And then I guess I play the Chaotic as well. Yeah, that prevents a power plant drop no matter what. So I'm happy with that. Yep. Yeah. Okay. So once again, I might just not use the GX attack next turn. I might use Ends Resolve to power up the Arcus Dialga. Just to power up the Keldeo. We'll see. We shall see. Play Fly Thunder Lab, that's fine. You see Acro. Interesting that the first thing he did was play that. That seems really odd. Discards a Heat Factory. Really good news for us. And then goes for greens. So no threat of double plays next turn. Making our ultimate ray attack even better. So as long as we hit. Like, we need to hit one energy, right? That's like the worst case scenario, we need to hit one energy. If I attack switch, I wouldn't be able to win. <laughs> um, okay, since there's no threat of double blades, I actually might just go for Altered Creation. GX this turn, maybe. Nah, let's be more aggressive. All right, so how many energies was that? That was, I think, four energies. No, three. Perfect. All right, we'll take it. And we'll definitely bench this person. We'll definitely attach here. And then we'll go... I went greens. What did he greens for? I open it greens for Fire Flint and Welder, so let's reset stamp that away. Looks like Faba price will go up. Uh, I think Marshall is a much better way to get rid of the stadium. Because Faba uses your supporter for turn, and that's really bad. Alright. Generally, like, picture perfect games. <laughs> picture perfect games. Alright. Do I go for the Chaotic Swell? Nah. Let's not do it this time. We're gonna ultimate ray. And we are going to power up the Keldeo. Let's leave one metal in there just in case. Oh, I can't, I have to choose. I'm fairly sure we are going to win this game. The recent one was invalid? Okay, I'll, I'll have a look. I don't want to give uh, invalid codes to you. I'll have a look, okay? Just give me one second. Maybe I got sent some invalid codes. Hopefully not. Okay, so once again, the Great Potion doesn't change the fact that um, Keldeo GX will just wreck my opponent's Reshram. They do hit for weakness. So let's go attach there. Let's retreat. And then we go protect. Not all decks suit Marshadow. I disagree. I mean, 
if you're really hindered by something like the um, chaotic swell, I feel like it's definitely going to be worth it for you to to try that out, right? And to have Marshadow in your in your deck. All right, so let me verify this code shenanigans. Okay, so this new code, okay, you guys are gonna see it on stream. Whoever wants to try it out may try it out. Let me. Wait, where's the codes thing? There we go. Submit code. See? There you guys have it, the next code. Okay, but I'm gonna check the previous one. This code has already been redeemed. See, the, like the codes are not invalid. If it's showing up as invalid, see? The codes have already been redeemed. These are, I'm gonna verify every single code I've given out so far. Oh, oops. <laughs> oops, that was not on purpose. That was the wrong button. Okay, here's another one. Yeah, see, they've already been redeemed. Oopsies. <laughs> okay, so here's a brand new code. That was silly. I redeemed my own code by mistake. Okay, but see, all the codes so far are valid. So do not say that they are invalid. If you are getting an invalid message, as I just showed, that means you are inputting the code wrong. I just showed live on stream how the codes being given out are valid and real and all provided thanks to potonstore.com. Yeah. They also had already taken. Yeah, so the codes are being taken as we go. Right, someone is very fast at getting them. Someone already reported like um, getting one, but do not say they are invalid. Someone said I am giving invalid codes. Um, I am not giving invalid codes. All right, now that that's out of the way, we are up against a lightning fire metal deck. What on earth is that? You get to go first. You get to go first. And all right. So it seems like we're using entry soul. We're not having too many options to use alter creation, which I'm perfectly okay with. And okay, so Gen Hearth builds analysis. I'm not sure what we're up against, but we'll see. I guess the GX attack is going to be really powerful against like non GX decks potentially. All right, but we see Jirachi. Okay, so I'm thinking we chaotic swell and then we go bench, bench. And then we go Cherish Wall for this guy. And then we treasure away that guy for another person. Just to thin, just to draw extra cards. And then I feel like our energy attachments should go to the Keldil overall. And then because we can end resolve onto the Arcus Dialga Palkia. All right, so then do I Poke Gear first or do I Stellar Wish first? Is Guardian just an auto loss for this deck? No, if you power up Keldo, like against Guardian, you just go power up Keldo and play your Chaotic Swells. And then they can play Power Plant to counter you, so then you beat Guardian by having Keldo. Okay, Raisin, if you, if you get the Invalid Code message, then try again. That's the only thing I can think of. Yeah, just try it again. DJY. Okay, we fail the Poke here. And we fail the other Poke here. Uh oh. Uh oh. <laughs> well, that was not good. That was not good. Okay, if, can someone try the, the code that Raisin just put in the chat to see if it shows up as invalid? 
That's the latest code. That's the one I checked on stream. Maybe when too many, too many people input the code at the same time, it shows up as invalid, but... Generally, the codes are not valid. Yeah. All right. No jank hearts for you, my friend. Okay, so there's a choice helmet. There's a welder. And then there's a pass. So my opponent already played Lily, cut through the giant heart, it's fine. Alright, can I find end resolve please? No. Um I really would like an end resolve. There we go. Alright, now I need to hit two energies. Alright, we hit all three. Right? Yeah, we hit all three. Perfect. Okay, so now, this is where I think I go GX. Uh, the choice helmet doesn't affect the damage. Okay, this is the game where I go GX. I'm not threatened by this person, and then all I need to do is I KO Jirachi, I get the extra prize, I KO Reshizard, I get the extra prize, and we end up winning. And I end up winning. Guardian can play Ability Charm. True, true, that's true. Well, well, actually no, ability charm doesn't matter because what does Sonic Edge say? This attack's damage is not affected by any effects on your opponent's active Pokemon. So ability charm does not matter. You have your ability charm, fine. I'll still hit for 110. I'll still hit for 110. I think these few games, I mean, I'm only playing against Freshie, right? So that's a big deal. The fact the the stadium prevented my phone from weltering. The stadium actually prevented my phone from weltering. Okay, is this programmed correctly on PTCGO? I guess we will find out. I should be taking two prizes from this. Oops, why did I choose three metal? I should have chosen two metal, one water. It's fine. I wanted to power up Jirachi. <laughs> I I totally wanted to power up Jirachi. One prize, yeah, good job programmers, good job. And then next round I go, great catcher, use Kelsey, okay, Reshi, win. Pretty good. I still think this is lower than Mew Mew though. I still think this is just slower than Mew Mew and therefore it won't be able to compete with Mew Mew, but maybe a four chaotic swell list with only Keldeos can beat Mew Mew. Like, there are just some matchups where you just don't bench these guys and play a slow and steady once the race with Keldil. Maybe. Vortex Stadium is really busted indeed. Sure, Outrage for 30, GG. Wow, the game just ends in so few turns. Goodbye, Reshi. Well, let's attach and make sure that just in case this is badly programmed. Yeah, we bypass that, we hit for weakness thanks to the extra damage, and we take four prize cards. <laughs> that is so broken. That is the dream right there. That is the dream. That is a dream, guys, right there. So powerful against fire attacks. Yeah, so I'll raid GX. I wasn't going to GX. My regular attack was enough. My regular attack was enough. 140 times 2, 280. That's the KO. I was never planning on using my GX attack again. If I said the wrong attack name, that's my bad, but I was not play planning on using the GX attack. You're welcome, Eric. Thank you to everyone who's hanging out. Thank you so much to everyone who's here. Thank you so much to everyone who's here. All right, we are going second, but we have the end resolve, we have the switch, and we have the church ball for our potential Keldeo. So this is a pretty sweet hand. 
Thank you so much, Edward. Have a good one yourself. Thank you so much for hanging out. I really appreciate it. This is looking really nice so far. Uh, Umbre Dark Rai. You can't evolve Ditto with red and blue, I believe. So that is something that I'm sure a lot of people are gonna try out with this deck. I will be giving up like update to Rudarga try for sure. So your biggest concern with this deck would be speed. I mean, I'm about to go turn one ultimate raid, so well, not quite. I think it's damage, but damage output that's the main concern. And welcome, Lance. Thank you so much for becoming a member of the channel. Thank you so much. I really, really do appreciate the extra, extra support. Thank you so much and welcome. Becoming a member of the channel is just like um, subscribing on Twitch. Yeah, you get to support the channel for a very small fee monthly and um, it helps offset things like um, ad block or other things that you guys might have activated. It's just overall a very nice thing to do. Oh, you know what? Yeah, that was a little preemptive. I'm gonna go ahead and grab the Tene because I might not get three energies. And then let's go and resolve. Okay, I even got four energies, so never mind. So we're gonna switch. We're gonna play the Chaotic Swell. And we're gonna do a change. Alright, so no... Hmm, no Keldeo for us. It's not the end of the world. But it's not ideal, of course. I mean, I'm fine just attacking. I don't even need to attach energy, because I can ultimate raid. Okay, and I'll save as many waters as I can, but obviously powering up the Arceus Dialga fully is my priority. If I'm gonna be KOing tag teams, then I don't really care too much about. Um, don't really care too much about. Um, don't really care too much about. Um, I forgot what I was gonna say. Anyways, um, oh yeah, the GX attack, the extra price from the GX attack. Like that's what I was gonna say. If I just KO to tag teams, that's fine. And there's a victory. Perfect. <laughs> Perfect. That was a really, really quick game. Okay, so what was the last code I gave away? Thank you so much, Lance, for the kind words. Um, ¿Por qué no estoy en Twitch, Emilio? Porque estoy probando. Si te das cuenta en Twitch hay 50 personas transmitiendo, en YouTube no tantas, entonces prefiero. Acá tenemos la exclusividad. <laughs> All right, so. Here's the next code, and I'm gonna show on stream that it won't say invalid. All right, just quickly. Just quickly. There you go. See, someone already redeemed the code. All right, someone already redeemed the code. It's not invalid. Someone already redeemed the code. I'm not gonna do that for everything. Yeah, you know? I feel like we've covered that. That turn one ends resolve seems to extremely broken. <laughs> turn one ends resolve seems extremely broken. Alex, yeah, <laughs> that's pretty cool. Will this rare card so hard to pull this time? Yeah, I mean, it is a really, really, really big set. Um, I would expect these cards to, to not be extremely, extremely rare, but kind of rare. Okay, so... I mean, not a bad start by any means, just we don't have a follow-up. But we have our pretty clear-cut plan, right? Turn 1, ultimate raid, turn 2, I mean, sorry, turn 1, ends resolve, turn 2, whatever else. Um, okay. But I just saw from the mulligan that we we're up against Dawson or Thingy. So... I think I just go like this. Or maybe I do play the end result, but... Nah, I'm gonna play it cool. Because my opponent is playing the, hand, the deck that removes your hand. Power plant gets taken away, that's good. Ah, 
<laughs> thank you, everyone. Thank you. I mean, I'll definitely be at Worlds no matter what. So um, whether you qualify or not, if you end up going, I'll definitely, definitely be there. Thank you so much for uh, the kind words. Yeah, and I'll also be in the Berlin, in the Euro in in the Berlin, <laughs> in the European International in Berlin. So in case you wanna, in case you get to drop by there. All right. So I think because of my opponent's very very slow start. Oh no, I only found one energy. That's so sad. Oh, I can't GX. Well, that's not good. That is certainly not good. That was a big boy for Oni on the end result. Oh well. Oh well. We're both in top deck mode-ish, I guess. So yeah, Sean, thank you so much for being here. There's the back-to-back -back power plants. How many power plants is my opponent playing, though? That's the big question here. How many power plants is my opponent playing? Okay, so we're at the mercy of RNG, right? We're at the mercy of Tomtex. And at the mercy of what my opponent finds during his turn. If I'd been able to attack though, that would have been fantastic. If I'd been able if I'd gotten a metal energy, that would have been just fantastic. Wait, what? Are you guys having an issue with the stream? Jeez, these messages from YouTube are... Okay, we're obviously getting Weezer stamped, right? Did my opponent play a Surge? No, no Surge. Meaning, we're gonna, even if we get reset stamp, we're gonna get to keep some of our hand. So that's good. Right? That is good. Stream is fine. Okay, I'm glad. Ooh, we might just see, we're gonna see another Miss Magius here. Gonna see another Miss Magius. I feel like if I find another stadium, I just win. Right? I find another stadium, I feel like I'll just win. Put yourself a prior night out of butt. <laughs> I mean, I don't know, I just It's it's weird. YouTube is weird. But as long as you guys tell me the stream's fine, that's all that matters. Okay, so my opponent. Okay, I have as long as he doesn't hit both of these. Oh, I need to keep the... Oh, there's a power plant, never mind. So this actually doesn't matter. Uh, still no metal energy, that sucks. Still no metal energy. So I'll be able to do damage, but that's not enough though. I feel like I'll grab a kill though, because if, once I top deck I tier as well, the game might be over. Do I just let him take the two prizes? Yeah. Oh well. Nightwatch gets two prizes. We lose our switch, we get a random top deck, so it's down to RNG. Can I find a stadium at some point? Or a Cynthia. Or a Cynthia. That's not it. That's not it. Still no metal as well. If I could have attacked, if I had found a metal, that would have been great. <laughs> sure, I'll reset some him. So I have one more turn. I have one more turn. I have... Oh, I lost a swell off of the entry resolve. So that entry resolve cost me the game, basically. <laughs> you think this deck needs more? I'm already playing four. How can I play more? How can I actually play more? And if my opponent has a third power plant, then it's game over. I 
I didn't grab that, then I was gonna lose my hand anyways. Like if I... T oh, he has a third power plant even, so... Well, no, that doesn't matter if I top the Chaos Excel, because it gets discarded. Uh, ooh. Ooh. Ooh? No. <sighs> Not quite. Um, maybe I can still get it. No, but I, even if I... Well, if I get it, I can it change. Into another switch. No, not quite. Well, I get another turn if I just... Bench the Detene. Right? Assuming he doesn't play a Grass Energy as well. Nah, I'm pretty sure I'm dead. Because then the Detene doesn't go down, I retreat. Yeah, I'm dead. I am playing 4. I am playing 4. Yeah, I'm indeed playing 4. Any stadium really would have helped, but... Yeah, not right. And now there's... I mean, I need Cynthia. Okay. And then off of Cynthia, I need... Uh, stadium and Switch. Stadium and Switch. Neither or... Well... <laughs> GG to my opponent. That's what happens against the deck, right? The RNG, the randomness. Like, I also, I didn't want to grab the Dene because if I bench enough Bolo on it, and if he's playing custom catcher, they rank great catchers, then that could hit, give him a win condition. The goal is to just have a kill though and have the ability to do all the work. That's the goal at least. Okay, we get to go first again. Not the best start this time. With the double Dedene. We have 10 other basic Pokemon, so the Dedene start is definitely annoying. But we'll manage, we'll manage. Alright, so... I'll play the Chaotic as well. The Absol is definitely annoying. Uh... Do I attach? No, nah, let's not attach. I'm just gonna sit down. It's a bit risky. Can't retreat into the Jirachi. It's not the end of the world. It's annoying, it's not the end of the world, and then I'll, I'll pass. So it's gonna be a slower start for us, that's for sure. I, I, when I showed the deck, the first thing I did was play two, two Chaotic Swell, yeah, not Vortex, two Chaotic Swell and two Viridian Raisin. And then immediately after the first game, I went back and took out the two Viridians and added two more Chaotic Swell to make it four. What's your opinion on bird control with cards like Goose Mahala or just Cosmic Eclipse in general, Atman? I mean, the deck will always remain powerful, I think. The deck will certainly remain powerful. Um, more Nagnadel charging up decks, showing up like Reshiram Zekrom, that's bad news for the deck. Um, <sighs> Mew Mew is still a threat for it, right? If it gets off the... Um, Speaking of, if it gets off the um, the thing, the the Espion, G the Espion Deoxys GX attack, so there's all of that to consider for sure. Yeah, there's all of that to consider. But obviously, Good Mahala helps with making the deck better. All right, so can I get a Cherish or a Treasure? No, I cannot. <laughs> what is this? What is this? I'll touch it water, sure. I could have started attacking this turn if I just got a treasure or an answer to I mean a treasure or a church, sorry. Alright, and speaking of birds, 
seems like. I mean, I would expect the fact to still be played. I definitely think in this matchup, I want to use my GX attack first and then start attacking. Because then I only need three KOs rather than six. So I definitely think that's the way to go. And then as long as I save enough switches to not get trapped by the Articuno, I should be good. All right, pretty please. There we go. There we go. All right, so we need two energies off of this Ants Resolve. Even just one energy does the trick. There we go. Now I wish I had another dude. It's not the end of the world. All right, so we go Altered Creation. Every prize card we take gets us an extra prize card. We might just get Articuno here. Wouldn't be the end of the world. hurts because now we don't have a chance to find Cynthia oh, you're kidding oh well that's a mistake that seems like a mistake right that had to be a mistake but we'll take it we will definitely take it why hasn't he evolved into another Pichoto though I thought he searched for it Okay, I'm very glad that it got compensated by that silly mistake by my opponent. Two has three turns to pull this off too, which we're usually aiming for turn one. <clears throat> okay, put that Mars, Power Plant, and Acrobatic. Alright, <laughs> won't take that. We will take that. All right, so the deck saying, don't worry, Pablo, I got your back. Very nice. Very, very nice. I have one switch priced. That's good, right? I feel like I play the Chaotic Spell. And then let's go Ultimate Ray. We get an extra price card, which is awesome. We get to power up the Dialga on the bench therefore if we get Articuno it's not great right but uh, when will I give the next code when I win the next game Fabio it's not for each four matches, it's just after every win. Just like the title says. So if I win this game, I'll put a code in the in the chat. Okay, so my opponent's on a clock. He needs to lock me within two turns. Otherwise he's out of this game. He absolutely needs to lock me within two turns. Could be Jero Dex play Lydos GX and then Lorelei Misty for Articuno Cold Crush? Yeah. The thing is, Lorelei Misty is so destructful, right? So destructful. So, so destructful. Alright. But you know what? Potan Store is so awesome. 
that they instructed me to give out more codes. They instructed me to give out more codes, not just after I went. Therefore, you guys are about to get more codes. Okay. All right. Yeah, the game's not advanced far enough to lock me into turns. That is correct. That would be correct. So all I need is to find my one switch from my prizes. Well, I have two switches left, one in prizes, one in here. Well, as I find that to attack once more after this turn, we should be good. There is alternate art for ADNP. I actually pulled that card, um, but I, I I try to like have um, similar arts for everything, so I just um, I keep um, everything full art. Yeah, I just keep everything full art. All right, so. Just ultimate raid. I keep the poking gears as poking gears. I really don't want to utilize them. I feel like I can attach one metal to this person, right? That seems good. Maybe you could play an Articuno in this as well as an extra switching card. Maybe I don't know. So there's that code card. That was a Metagross GX Shiny. And now you guys get a Zorak GX Shiny. Yeah, and like I said, if you wanna tweet or like post on their on their Facebook page for Poton Store and thank them for all the work they're doing, then that would be awesome. Yeah, that would be awesome. He's getting rid of water because he might be worried about Mount Coronet. That's so silly. Well, I, yeah, he doesn't know my exact energy counts, right? You can assume like a 50-50 split. But if I have two waters on one metal, you definitely remove the metal, right? Because then there's a chance that I won't have another metal to not attack. So that was a big mistake. I still top the, the thing into the Cynthia, so it worked out fine. That still doesn't make it like it was a mistake, though. Uh, Aber, no. <laughs> I like the secret rare energies more. There you go, Fabio got one of the Which one did you get, Fabio? The Metagross or the Zorg? See, so now you remove the water, and it actually opens up the possibility that I don't get to attack. There you go, Fabio. Mm -hmm. So big thank you to Podon Store, and big thank you to Millibots Gaming as well for supporting the channel. They are awesome too. All right, so there's the Articuno. Finally, my opponent pulled it off. Power plant takes away the chaotic as well. Okay, so we are in trouble, not gonna lie. We are in trouble. Oof, even more so now. So it comes down to, can I top deck a switch eventually? I have two switches left in the deck. We just got trapped by a chip chip ice axe as, ice axe as well for one turn. The thing is, Raisin, like, there aren't fairy energies, right? There aren't fairy energies, so... There aren't fairy energies, so that's a problem. Okay, so my opponent actually was able to do the lock because of those extra first few turns that we gave him. I don't know, I do like the secret rare energies. I do, I do like them. I wish they had a, a silver border rather than yellow. I think that would look much better, but what are you gonna do, right? Okay, so can my opponent retreat this person this turn? Materializes in the discard pile. There's no pile pad played yet, so that might be what gets played. Seems like we get a free turn. Well, never mind. It's never free, I guess. Chip Chip Ice Axe. There's a Cynthia. 
So there's two energies gone. There's the Pulp Band, so we'll be putting the Tin Eliza back on something else. I mean, it was either he did that that turn or he lost and he ended up pulling it out, so. They don't like the Cold Importer, that's fair. I mean, I just like. I like having the decks as, as blinked out as possible without it interfering with actually being able to see what the card is, so. I mean, I'll definitely attach the energy, right? I'll take that. Does my opponent have another regular Chip Chip Isaac? He'll definitely be able to switch this turn. Don't say that, Chris. It's a deck and it's a valid way to win. Yeah. But please say like it's an awful deck or it's a bad deck. I don't call it that. Yep, there's a ten of lights on. The recycle energy stays there though. No chip chip, no chip chip, so RNG, please help me. I have a 10%, less than 10% chance to top deck a switch, but then I do have two Poke Gears, one more Cynthium, a few energies as well. I feel like Right now my opponent's resources are strained. Yeah, Palpa and Chip Chip Isaac. So he really wants to control my top deck. Yep. <laughs> That's a bad card. That is a bad card. Now that I don't agree with, because he knows exactly which two cards I have, so what's the point of doing that? What is the point of doing that? So does my opponent just win here? Is he always going to be able to control my top deck? Make sure the two switches are the two last cards in my deck? And get me to the point where he goes reset stamp and I lose? Is that it? There you go, Ruben. That works. See, someone got a pack and then traded it for Rainbow Lighters. That's almost as good as as getting the as opening something good from the pack. <laughs> Raisin. I mean, I was hoping that they would release like secret rare energies with the with the tag team, the tag team sort of um, style. Wait, did he put the chip chips back? Yeah, he has the chip chips. I think I'm just gonna concede here. I think I'm just gonna concede, because otherwise it's gonna be another 14 minutes at least. And like, it would need to be switch, switch Cynthia as my top three for him to, to not have something to, to win. So yeah, I'm just gonna concede here. This is gonna be super boring. I'm just gonna see it. go to the next game. Go to the next game. Probably the last one for our QCL Paul I feel like the concept ended up working out very nicely. The concept seems like it worked out very nicely. Losing a coin flip only means that we get to use and resolve on turn one and get an attack up on turn one. So I'm very happy with losing the coin flip. I am perfectly okay with losing the coin flip. Perfectly okay with losing the coin flip. Yeah, unless he commits a mistake. I also hate that style of deck for sure. I also hate that style of deck. 
All right, so welder island challenge amulet. Interesting. Interesting decision to play that. <clears throat> All right, so this is still valid Volcarona. Yeah, some decks that you guys were saying was interesting or worth it to play. I don't. I think the damage output of that such a deck is so low. It's not worth it, but we'll see. We shall see. There's a Volcarona. I mean, the thing is, not necessarily Moises, because eventually you can reset stamp and, I don't know, make it weird. Would have been really weird. Alright, so this I'm not sure once again. Do I go Poke Gear first or do I Stellar Wish first? I feel like I Stellar Wish first because Poke Gear is looking at more cards. Alright, <laughs> let's go. Let's go. Poke Gear number one fails. Poke Gear number two does not fail. However, that's not the supporter we want. Oh, come on. Alright. Alrighty then. Well, we won't have a turn one hands resolve. There's the end result, just one turn a little too late. Do I just did it change this hand away? Would I use alter creation here? I don't think I would. It doesn't help me. I will be playing Charizard and Breaks in Paul. I will indeed be playing Charizard and Breaks in. I think I just did it change here. Okay. Decent ish. I think I just give up on the Titanic here. Yeah. And then I'll pass. The big issue is I have I have prized six prize I mean I have played down six prizes. But if the end result gets me the the person powered up and then I power up the Keldeo. My opponent, I would imagine, does not have enough answers to kill though. Hopefully. Wow. <laughs> Alright. So that's just very sad. That is simply very, very sad. So I'm gonna do this to thin as much as I can. Right? I don't need another Archistel Apologia. And then I'll go Ants Resolve. Okay, so three waters. And then I go. Great Catcher doesn't get me a knockout on the Dene. So now I need an energy, right? Now I need an energy. To retreat or a switching card. That works too. That's even better. Because then I even get a Stellar Wish off. Or a switching card. That works too. I get a prize. I power up Keldeo. So we're really utilizing the end result to get turn one ultimate ray more than anything, which I'm perfectly happy about, right? I'm perfectly happy about that. And I am thinking that Tax Switch could be a really good card here. Tax Switch could be a really good card here. All right, so I would assume we're winning this game based on what's on the board. So, I'll start preparing the next code card for you guys. Alright. Um, new Pigeon of Control might be more dirty to play against, especially with a new tag team supporter. Yeah. Yeah, Pigeon will always be a thing that has potential that's for sure okay so the other still value might have been scary except doesn't even get a ko so i mean it's like sure i don't win next turn but what does he do against kelvin i want to challenge amulet <laughs> interesting 
What is your agent? The tenant count in this deck? Four and three. Yeah, four and three. Island Challenge Amulet. Silver Knight GX. We don't have any Ultra Beasts. Brave Bodies. Wow, what a weird attack name. <laughs> um. Yeah, the GX attack. I mean, it helps me get an extra price off of this guy, but I don't see the need. I really don't see the need. I'll grab the Cynthia, sure. Not gonna play it though. I have 13 cards left. Now I just go Sonic Edge everything. And win? What does he do against Keldil? Volcarona can't do anything. Silvao can't do anything. I don't like this deck because the Volcarona puts the energy back into your hand. And then the Welder. So you need Welder every turn or like how do you power up multiple things? It just it seems like a bad concept to me. It seems counterintuitive. Powering up stuff and then depowering it. And having to utilize your supporter continually, which is already pretty hard to find. I don't know. I, I just I don't see it. The set is out indeed, Brody. Your eyes are not lying to you. You are seeing the brand new cards, such as Yovali GX, such as Arceus, Dialga, and Palkia. I will say that this art is definitely less cool than the regular art and the secret art. There's a Tetenim. There's an Arlar Vestum. I have the code ready for when my opponent concedes. Silvali could be really good to expand it with all those memory tool cards. Uh... Great catcher. I mean, he doesn't even get a KO on this guy. He might KO the 10 a sure, that's too prices, but meh. Yeah, it's like, sure, you got two prizes, right? Not a big deal. Well, DC, the thing is, 120 is nothing impactful, right? 120 is just not that great anymore. And you can't have a tool and a choice band. I think that's the biggest issue. Oh, wait, what? He didn't play a supporter? What? Wow, it's just, it's getting really rough here for my opponent. To Sonic Edge. Yeah, there's, the, the game's definitely over. The game is certainly going to be over. And then what I can do is switch GX and then KO on the dead end for game. Yeah, that's the one I'll, I'll be playing, Paul. Courtesy of Ver Candy. That's the one I'll be playing for sure. That is the one I will be playing for sure. Alright, there's Full Corona. With the Ren and Bloom. Yeah, my opponent's deck just didn't end up working out. Great for him. Or I can just attack this guy and then attack this guy. Either way works. Do I have great catchers left? I have one. I don't know if it's prized. Yeah, I'll just attack here. I'll take my prize, thank you very much. And then I just knock out this guy. This guy can't do anything to this guy. Not even the GX attack takes away energy from my Keldeo, so... 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. 11, 12, 13. Do I have three energies left should be fine and there's the victory all right so i must say in terms of expectations right restroom was right here and it ended up getting here like i thought it was going to be much better than it actually ended up being but maybe at different ends result base field is better and then arcus Dallas and palkia the expectation was here 
and the execution end up being here. So we'll have to see what else what else happens, but pretty pretty decent deck. I like this concept. Yeah, I like this concept. And um, Fed Star, I already played Reshikram. The next deck you guys get to pick, whether it's Piplo Blastoise, which I have very low hopes on, or Charizard breaks in. Okay, one of those two. Um, you guys get to choose, let me know in the chat and I will be right back in just a second. 